Hello, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning in to this video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating and reviewing this new Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love in a Palette and this is the lighter shade called Pretty Blushed Beauty. So I'm going to be using this whole palette on my face and sharing my thoughts on it. And I also have two lipsticks to show you. One is from this collection. This is Nude Romance. And that's what I'm wearing right now. And then I'm also going to show you the Sweet Blossom shade that came out earlier this year. So if you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. Okay, I have my foundation on. I didn't bother with concealer today. And I just want to go straight into the powder. So this is the powder. And this is the same as the shade one of the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder that comes in the Round Compact or the Opal Compact. So I'm just going to take my mini cheek brush and going to start setting down certain areas of my face. I have used this powder before, but I've only had a really tiny little sample of it. So I don't feel like I've really gotten the best testing situation of it that I could have. So I'm happy to have this larger pan. I will say it's a little bit deep for my skin tone. I can see the the color is just a little bit deeper than I would like it to be where I'm putting it on here. A little bit yellowy. I think you can see I have it under that eye and not under that eye. And the color is quite dark actually. You can see, I think you can see everywhere I've put it. It's really I'm actually kind of surprised at how dark that color is. I feel like I need to look this up and see if this really is the lightest shade of the powder that's in here because it's visibly changing the color of my face right now. Okay, I have to say I am disappointed in that powder, but let's move on and see how the rest of the palette works. Um, so I think I'm going to go into eyes right now. So I'm just going to do the enhanced shade first and I'm going to take my um, classic crease brush and just put that all over the crease. I would say this is a satin shade. It's not really shimmery, but it does have a little bit of luminosity to it. It's not completely matte and that's going on really nicely. Okay, I love that eye shade and the texture of the shadow is just really beautiful and it looks great on the eyes. I think even as a one and done kind of shadow, it's really nice. Now I'm taking my mini booster and I'm going to go into the smoke shade. And just deepen up the outer corner and the crease a little bit. Okay, I think that looks great on the eyes. And then I'm gonna take this shade, which is the Brighten shade for the eyes, onto my Refer 21 brush. And I'm just gonna pat that onto the lid. Really nice shine there. I would say it's more of a sheer formula, but it has really beautiful shine and shimmer to it different from, I think, any other shimmer that I have. Really interesting. And I like the shade of it too. Like it looks like it's gonna be pretty peachy, but, and it does have peach, a peach tone to it, but it goes on, I think, a lot brighter than it looks in the pan. Okay, 
All right. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take my flat definer brush and I'm gonna go into the middle shade, the enhancer shade. Nice, and I'm gonna take a little bit of the smoke shade just toward the outer portion, just to deepen that up a little bit. Now on that same brush, I'm gonna go back into the brighten shade and just pull it into my inner corner a little bit. This one is flaky in the pan, but if you're careful, I think you can avoid getting fallout. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of shadow liner, again with that smoke shade on this liner brush. And then I'm just going to do some mascara and I'll be right back to use the rest of this palette on my face. Okay, eyes are finished. And I'm really happy with them. I have zero complaints about any of these eye shades. I think they all went on beautifully. They look great and they created a really nice soft flattering look on the eyes. So I'm, I'm thrilled with those eye shades. Now moving on to the rest of the face, let's do the bronzer here. So this one is supposedly the same color as the Sculpt shade in the Sculpt and Glow palette. I'm going to do a comparison swatch later on so we can take a look and see if it really is the same shade. But that's what the website said was that it was the same shade. Let's take my Designer Pro brush going right into that shade and just start sculpting out the cheekbones a little bit. I like the shade of that. I think that looks nice. It does give a great sculpted effect. It has enough coolness to it. I think that it's able to contour a little bit. I'm gonna go back into this powder. I keep getting distracted by the way the powder looks. The way it sits on the skin, I have no problem with. It looks really nice and smooth, and it does sort of smooth over the pores and lines and everything, but the color is, to me, it's comically deep on me. It looks ridiculous, and I don't know if that's translating as much on the camera, but I think it is. Um, it looks like brownish orange in color and it's just so far from my skin tone that I'm really distracted by it. But anyway, I'm taking my um, medium artist brush from Wayne Goss and I'm just trying to put some more of the powder on where I hadn't powdered already. Because typically I, I don't really like to powder my whole face, but it's looking really obvious where I've powdered and where I haven't because the color is so off for me. So I'm just kind of trying to get a little bit of it everywhere. So at least there's some uniformity there. All right. I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit of the bronzer just to reinforce that sculpting. And I'm gonna take a little bit of it on the flat definer and just do my little lip shading. Okay, and now let's move into Let's do the highlight first. So this again is supposed to be the highlight from that um, Sculpt and Glow palette that she has. So we'll do a comparison of that as well. Just trying to find a good brush. Okay, I'm gonna use the Fan or the Sculpt 3 from Sonia G right into that highlight shade.
That's a really nice highlight, actually. I like the way it shines, and it's very smooth on the skin, but you can see how bright it is. Now, I don't know how bright it would be on my actual skin tone because my skin is so much darker now with that powder. It works on that on top of that. It's not too dark on top of that powder, but I will have to try it another time to just see how it works on my sort of normal skin tone. But I like the way that looks. And now for the blush, this one right here, taking my Soft Cheek from Sonia G. And I think the blush is really beautiful. Again, I think it's kind of um, a satin finish. It's not completely matte. And it's a peachy color, almost a little bit of terracotta in there. It doesn't quite look like that in the pan, but when I get it on the face, it does look a little bit, like it has a little bit of a burnt orange kind of undertone in it. It's quite warm. Of course, it's combining with the warm powder too, so that would change the effect a little bit. All right, so that's all the products in there. And then I wanted to throw on a Charlotte Tilbury lip too. So I actually ordered two in this order. One is part of this whole collection, which is called Nude Romance. And this was the only satin shade of the four that came out of this collection. So that's why I chose this one. And let's see what this one looks like first. All right, so that's Nude Romance. I think that's actually a beautiful color. I was a little bit concerned looking at it in the tube because it almost looked a little bit um, too cool or something, like it had a little bit too much gray in it. But when I put it on the lips, I think it actually looks really nice. And I think it goes really well with all the tones that are in this palette. That's Nude Romance. And now I've removed that one and I wanna go into this one, which came out, I think this might've been like a Lunar New Year release. It came out earlier in the year. It's Sweet Blossom. And I've been interested in this color since I've seen it. And I just thought that this was the time to pick it up. So it's also a satin formula. And let's see what this looks like. I really like this color. I don't think I have anything else quite like this. It's almost like a muted red, kind of. And it does, I think, also have some sort of terracotta going on, but it also has a little bit of a corally feel to it. It's really uh, an interesting color, and I, I really like it. That's Sweet Blossom. All right, I put Nude Romance back on because I thought it was just a bit more cohesive with this whole look. But I was looking up the description of this palette and reading about the face powder. So it says, my one sold every minute airbrush flawless finish powder in fair slash medium. So I'm a little bit confused by that because when you go look at the powders, there's a shade fair and then the next shade is medium. So is it a combination of those two shades? I guess so, because I really didn't think that the fair shade was this deep, um, but it looks lighter than the medium shade. So it must be a combination of those two shades together. Um, so that's my bad, I didn't realize that, but I don't feel like it was very fully explained either and I haven't watched any other reviews of this yet so I'm gonna have to take a look at some other ones and see if they um, mention anything about the shade of this powder but that for me is a huge disappointment just because I really can't use this as a face powder it just looks ridiculous on me it looks way too dark um, I guess if I'm going for a look where I want to have a little bit of a deeper looking skin tone, then I could use this, but it's it's pretty rare, I think, for me that I wouldn't be able to use any of my other powders um, for that purpose anyway, because most of them are 
quite translucent and I like to have a little bit of a brightening. Even if I'm going for a deeper foundation, I would still like to have the brightening where I'm powdering under my eyes and on my nose and so on. So for me, the powder is a huge disappointment, but the rest of the palette has been really great. So I like the shade of the bronzer. I like the blush shade. Um, the highlight looks really nice. We'll have to see how it looks on a lighter base. And all of the eye shades are really beautiful. So I'm happy with everything except for the powder. The lipstick I really like too, both of the ones that I've tried today. I like Charlotte Tilbury's satin lipstick formula, so I'm not surprised that I like the formula, but I'm really happy with both of these colors too. Now let's get into some comparison swatches. So I wanted to start with the bronzer. The texture of this bronzer is definitely different from her airbrush bronzer texture. This one feels a lot creamier, whereas the airbrush one, when you swatch it, it feels uh, lighter weight and a lot drier, actually. So that's the one in the palette. Then I'm going to take this one from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And it feels a little bit drier to me than the one in the palette, but that could just be because it's older. So let's see how those two shades compare. So to me, those look like completely different shades. This one has a little bit more depth to it, and it almost looks a little bit warmer, I think. Whereas this one looks a little bit lighter and cooler, I think. A little bit more rosiness in the um, the one from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Then I wanted to compare two of the bronzer shades too, so I also got the medium shade of the airbrush bronzer, finally. I've been thinking about it for a long time. So I just wanted to compare that to the one in this palette as well. So that's the airbrush medium, that's the one in the palette. I think in terms of the depth, they're pretty similar, but the airbrush one has more redness to it, I think. This one looks almost a little bit yellowy in comparison to a little bit of the ruddiness in the medium shade. And then I wanted to just swatch the fair shade of the airbrush as well, just to compare. I'm actually gonna compare this to the face powder that's in the palette, because I think they're probably more similar than this one is to any of the bronzers. So there's the fair airbrush. And let's go into this face powder here. They are different. The face powder is lighter than the fair bronzer shade, so that's good at least. Um, and very different when you compare them. The face powder looks a lot more yellowy, which is funny because I've always thought of the fair shade of the bronzer as a little bit yellowy. But when you compare the two, you can see that there is more sort of brownness and sort of a toasted quality to the bronzer, whereas the face powder is just more of a yellowy and um, lighter shade than that fair bronzer. We go through them again, that's the medium airbrush bronzer, that's the bronzer from this palette, that's the bronzer from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, that one is the shade fair of the airbrush bronzer, and then that's the face powder in this palette. Also wanted to compare the two highlight shades from this one in the Filmstar, so going into that highlight, Right there, and then the one from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. It's kind of hard to see these swatched, but they look pretty similar to me. I think they are the same. The formula appears to be the same. They have the same kind of texture and the shade looks the same to me anyway. That's the one from the palette. That's from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Okay, and I just wanted to show the whole palette swatch. So there's the Brighten eye shade, that's the Enhance eye shade, that's the Smoke eye shade, that's the Bronzer, that's the Highlight, that's the Blush, and that's the Face Powder. Alright, so that's about it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you if you were interested in this palette. Just to reiterate, everything was great except for if you have a skin tone like mine, this powder is too deep for it and again it I don't think it's showing up quite as much on camera but in person 
it looks visibly too deep and orangey on my skin. So that's that. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to see those below. If you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.